it's been a little bit of a while since I uploaded the video where I did that there. I say a little bit of a while, about seven months. It's fine though, because this is here and I'm just on this one, as you can see. Actually, I'm gonna stand here so you can't see it and um, so you watch the video. If you didn't watch the video where I time-lapsed painting Kingsbury on that side there, you probably wouldn't know what this is about. So you can watch that video or you can just listen to me explain it very quickly now. Basically, one of my favourite films of all time is Howl's Moving Castle, the Studio Ghibli animated one. In Howl's Moving Castle, the castle door opens to four different locations. Four locations are Kingsbury, Port Haven, The Waste and in the book it's actually Wales for the fourth location but in the film it's the war zone so I did the war zone so again I filmed doing I filmed painting it and all of that and I'm sharing it with you now this video is quite jumpy because I lost a lot of the footage which is very annoying obviously it's fine though because I want to, I want these to be like quite short anyway they're kind of just like little updates so that if you watch them all together when I finally finished I just want little ones you know now I finish this one my next project will be one of the two at the bottom because I still have Port Haven and the waist to do, which is exciting. And then I'm going to paint the top and I get to like peel all the sellotape to make all the edges nice. I'm really excited for that. Anyway, I hope you enjoy watching this. Have fun. It's voiceover time. I feel like I need to speak really fast based on like how, how fast the video is going. But I am well aware that that is a time lapse and I'm just being stupid. I'm also sat on like the least squeaky chair possible so that I can kind of relax, but um, I'm trying to make the least noise I possibly can just with background noise and that, but I have a feeling not all of it is gonna be drowned out. Anyways, yes, I decided to do a voice over instead of music because of copyright issues. It's, um, it's all like non-copyright stuff, so I don't know, I don't really like it. So I'd rather just sort of talk over it anyway because I know that there's gonna be moments that I'm gonna want to interject anyway. So I just feel like it's better to do the whole thing in voiceover rather than like cutting it up. I just really didn't like that, so I think it's just gonna be cleaner if I do the whole thing in one, if that makes sense. As you can see, this has jumped very quickly, very far, and I did mention this in the introduction. I lost quite a lot of footage from the early on stages. This literally took me seven months, as in I didn't sit down and just spend seven months painting. It was like 2021 has been a really busy for me, a busy year for me so far. I finished my A-levels, um, obviously that was all kind of interrupted, so I had a lot of stuff going on. I picked up a lot more hours at work because I'm trying to save for uni and trips and things like that. But what I'm trying to say is that um, the earlier parts of this video move a lot quickly than the later parts of it, because the later parts I had more footage of me blending and going over things and all of that so it's easier to take more time doing it whereas in that first section obviously it was like um the clouds appeared suddenly and half the sky appeared basically from like four months ago i don't know where i kept loads of these videos of me just sat there painting so unfortunately it has been missed out but i really don't think anyone is going to be too bothered because i don't think people will be that worried about seeing every second as it goes along if that makes sense. If you are really bothered, I'm so sorry that I've just ruined it for you, but I don't think it'll be too bad. And in future, I am going to make sure that I am storing everything from the beginning. And also I'm recording from the same angle because obviously this is jumping around loads. Like at one point you can see it from a higher angle and then a lower angle and then a more zoomed in. And that like, I think that probably annoys me more than anyone else, but still I was sat here like editing it going, I want to make sure that it's going from as close as an angle as I can as like the last video and things like that. You can see that that skipped a little bit there as well. I've spent some time away from the camera doing it. Um, I, didn't, I didn't record everything, obviously, because a lot of it is going over the same things and just working it out. So I just don't think you need to see every single step of it and just see the kind of the generic picture of it coming together. One thing I did really notice about doing the, this, the war zone, rather than the one I've done before that you can see to the left of it, um, Kingsbury, it was so different in terms of just like, obviously what's in it with Kingsbury. I had never done anything like that before. I do portraits and I do people 
I never ever do landscapes or anything like that. So Kingsbury was nothing like anything I had ever done before. And it was so hard, like that, it was so like itty bitty and like, oh, paint this tiny window, like paint the reflection on that. And I definitely didn't get it all right. And if I could do it again, I probably would do a lot of it differently. But at the end of the day, it was the first thing I ever did. And I'm not looking for perfection. It's just sort of like a cutesy idea. And I just really enjoyed doing it as a whole. But then the doing the war zone, I mean, sorry, I keep turning around, so my voice is probably going to be fading in and out, but it's because I'm, lo- I'm turning around to look at my door. Yeah, the war zone was very much different. Like, this was just, it was all, like, fady and, like, blendy, and it made me realise how I was just, this was very out of my comfort zone in the sense of, like, first of all, I, I don't do planes or I don't do any vehicles. I cannot draw a car. If you asked me to paint a car or to a train or anything like that, or even to draw it, I would have no idea where to start. I've got no clue what I'm doing. And all the different sections had like different reflections and different shading. And I was so over it by the end. And again, I started this in December. I literally started doing this the day that I posted the video of the first one. So this has been like hanging over me for seven months and I'm just so over it in the sense that I cannot wait to move on to the next one just because it's different and I'm just excited for something different, you know. Does that make sense? So I'm really like, it's very rough and I might try and do something similar at some point, but yeah, it was a very rough thing. But we are coming to the end now, which is exciting. But yeah, I kind of see these videos as a like a working progress, you know? It's documenting how I'm getting with it. It's not really like me showcasing it in a massive way. It is just kind of me going, hey, look, this is something I'm doing if you're interested. But we're coming to a finish now, so I will hopefully try and get painting on the next one. And it won't be a seven month wait until I post that. So I hope to see you somewhat soon. Thank you for watching.